Hello Knight here, welcome back to my Empire Total War, I was going to say Napoleon Total War, Empire Total War, We're playing the Dutch, and we're using the Darth mod, all the action, I'm just going to check America actually first, I think everything's, just remind myself, yeah we're moving in on the Plains Nations, we took a really heavy hit here, we're just replenishing the army, got some more reinforcements coming over, from here, if I click on them, there we go. They're going to take a while to get there. We've got an army coming down here, joining to here, and we've got two armies plus at least one fleet. Yeah, these two armies plus a fleet are going out to India. We've dealt with um, a load of um, ships that were here, that are Mughal ships. We're at war with the Mughal Empire and Persia and the Plains Nations. There's no trade at all going on at the moment. Uh, Actually, I think I'm going to... I think we're having a few problems with public order here, I think. So what I'm going to do... Well, not we weren't having problems, but we could. So I'm just going to move that back. So we're still making 75,000. We've got 300,000 in the bank, so I don't really think feel that we need to do anything more. Uh, Persians, we're pushing them back. Uh, they've got one straggly army over here that's run off. And we need to get after it, um, which is a pain actually. Looks so like we can't reach it this turn. Can we move out a little bit? We're going to have to chase it down, I think. Yeah, they can't do much more to honest, those guys. Okay, maybe that's a mistake. Maybe we should have kept the guys in with the fleet. But we can move here and go on to the ships, depending on what this guy does. If he runs up this way, he probably will He'll run away from us. Uh, we've got two stacks here coming down towards Ardabil. And we've got four armies going towards central Persia, Estfahan. We may actually put an army in a ship. Actually, we need to destroy that. We need to blockade that. Just leave that. Just realise he's, he's got a ship there, hasn't he? Oh, he hasn't got a ship there. He's got a port there, rather. Um... Let's find one that's actually up to scratch and just blockade the port. And then we'll see if it drags out his fleet. Here, yeah, let's speed things up. It may well drag his fleet out, to be honest, but um, that should mean there's no trade. There we go. For Persia, which is good. They'll only have overland trade with the Mughals now, so they'll be getting weaker. Um, it's quite possible they'll come out and fight that, that navy, I think. It's quite lightly. Um, do we need to build any more ships? I don't think so. I think I've got all my trade ships actually on their way to this theatre. Okay, down here. Uh, what are we doing down here? So look, let's fight the next few battles. Uh, let's just go for this one now. Um, you've got 4,000 odd. Don't see why they've got such a good I think they're doing so well. 500 yards, 900, so we know how to deal with this. Let's do that. And let's get the cav on first if we actually need to, to get them on. We, we may not need to use this army. It's quite possible that we won't have to. Okay, I'm maybe going to put infantry on first just in case we have to. Damn, this is so annoying when it does this. Come on. There we go. Okay. Take the infantry on first. Then we'll have the um, light infantry. Okay, let's go for this. So the only danger is probably the this mortar at close range, 500 yards or more. This guy, 900 yards he can hit us from anywhere so we're just going to crash in with our light cav we've got plenty of that one two three and we've got a uh, it's pretty good it's a pretty good army to us it's a sort we're not going to wait five turns so he actually outnumbers us but that won't make any difference that won't save him we'll take this city out and then maybe we can move the um, put together a, a fully equipped army without any losses without any attrition and move them south towards um Adirabad if we need to I think I was saying the other day in the Prussian camp, it's remarkable 
um, how these two campaigns have mirrored each other right at the very end. Obviously, all the way through, they've been completely different. But um, my Empire Total War Prussia campaign is very, very similar. We've ended up fighting the Mughals at the end of the, the campaign. And we're kind of pushing ahead there as well to try and eliminate them. I feel really that the Dutch here have a slightly more difficult situation. We've got, um, I'm trying to finish by 1750 if I can. It's only 1744, so we've got another uh, 12 turns, is that right? Yeah, 12 turns, I think. So we should do it. It's just, I think it's going to be slightly more difficult to win in this area, in this campaign rather, than with the Mughals. We're certainly not as far ahead against the Persians as we are in the um, Prussian campaign. Okay, anytime you're ready, let's go. <laughs> it's quite slow actually this morning, the computer. Well, it's very foggy, which is not good. Okay, I didn't really take any notice of where the guys are coming on from, which is stupid to be honest with me. I should have really looked that up before we did anything. Um, town? Possibly in the town? We can certainly use the artillery here. Hmm, doesn't really like deploying there. Maybe we go the other end. We'll go to the um, where the ground is just slightly rising. Over here. A general here. Okay, let's just form up our infantry. I say this is ro really remiss of me because I've not really taken any notice at all of where their troops are going to come on from. So this will be like most of the games you see on YouTube. No, I'm only joking. <laughs> so what we need to do is basically concentrate initially on protecting our artillery because that's where problem may come. Why can I not deploy these guys? There we go. Doesn't want to deploy it. There we go. That'll do. Okay, so we're going to throw the cav, this light group of hussars. They're going to come through the town. So initially the town should provide some cover for them. And we're going to form up just here. Obviously he doesn't want to do that, so we'll have to do it in single units. There we go, one. We'll have to move pretty sharp because the way these are all stacked up, if we get a hit here from their their guys, we're going to be in serious trouble. Okay, well let's try and find out oh, right behind me, which is uh, stupid really. Not stupid, but still my part. Where are these guys? They're so far back. Okay, well let's go here. Let's get back and see what what's really happening here. They're coming right behind me, so let's charge into the cav. Safis. We've got all our good troops here to be honest. Maybe we've taken some losses, 15. Why, why, why? Go over here. It's as if all their guys are coming on from this corner, which is weird. Oh dear. Okay, I don't think he's got them. isolate where his artillery is. Okay, I think this should be going okay. We're only using um, our infantry, but sorry, our cavalry, so it's not too clever. But we should be fine. Really? Do we really need to worry about this? I'm not really sure, to be honest. Winning, combat winning. 
Right, we need to do something here. To move these guys up. Are we actually getting anywhere here? Are we attacking these artillery? Not really. I don't really know what these guys are doing, to be honest. I suppose we're aiming for here. Uh, don't really know what they're doing. Lost their general. That's not good. It's not good stuff. Eastern mortars aren't populous. Let's just hit these guys. That should uh, sort things out. Come on, nomads. We want to really destroy his artillery if we can. That's the only real danger. Wow, we've not done well at all to be honest here. Let's just turn around and hit these guys. These Safis have really done well. Yeah, we've not done too cleverly as well uh, at all here to be honest. Um, I can be quite afford to be quite lazy to be honest and not worry too much. I know it doesn't make for a very good um, battle, but to be honest, we're not really in any trouble. Let's go over here so we can kite these guys around. And what's happening here? Why are the light fall doing strange things? Should be getting rid of these guys now, to be honest. This is a messy battle. We're not. I can't honestly say that we're doing too well here. We haven't fought this very well. First thing, where it first went wrong was that I didn't actually um, bother to sort out where where my guys are coming on. I'm being quite sloppy here, to be honest. Okay. Okay, we're starting to get our volley work going here. Damn, we seem to have a lot of guys coming on here, to be honest. So we've got some cav left. Okay, how are we doing? Okay, that's all going okay, I think. Yeah, this has just turned into a brawl, to be honest. Still got a lot of cav. Right, let's start getting the hussars from the other the enforcement army involved. The trouble is they've got so many units, that's the problem. So many guys in a unit rather. Um, we need to move back here. Let's jump a secondary line. Okay, looks like I am gonna have to use the replacement army, the reinforcing army rather start using our artillery slightly more intelligently. Square up. Okay, that's fine, I think. Out sweet through here. I say the first thing that I did wrong was not actually um, take a note of where the where they're coming on. Let's um, throw some hussars in here. Get rid of this cav. Oh, there's never any doubt that I'm, I was going to win this. It's just literally that I've not played it too cleverly. Yeah, I'm never convinced that this works. You know, putting light infantry in front of. Um, these guys. 
I think we end up shooting a lot of guys in our back, even if we put them into... Um, what's the word? Even if we put them into... Light infantry mode. Okay, I think things are going okay now. Okie doke. Just as well we had that extra army because we would have lost otherwise, without doubt. Okay, we need some more troops to be brought up. Let's charge in. Now, this hasn't been one of my better battles, it's just been a brawl basically. is I can probably afford to be quite um, careless with my troops. Bowmen are making these guys retreat. That's um, okay. It's 180, 99. Okay, let's see how that goes. Okay. In the back of these guys. Got their general, but we lost a general as well. I can't even re remember whether he was a particularly good general or not, to be honest. Um, at least we've held on to our artillery, which is sometimes something I, I, lo I don't actually do. We're we actually going to saddle up because I think we're going to end up hitting our own guys at this rate. He's still pushing through in the centre. Losing slightly, combat and winning. But it's always better to charge in, of course. We're not gonna don't tend to get fantastic results unless you charge in. Especially with the hussars, they're not particularly also they're not they don't have good staying power, that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, let's get the artillery over here. I haven't got any more guys coming on at the moment. Okay, I think we're kind of done, are we? No, armed populace will disappear anyway, so that's not a problem. It's only a um, make them run away battle. We don't need to destroy them. That's the end of the battle. Okay, I so say not one of my better battles. You can just see how badly I can play there. <laughs> Just demonstrating. Not particularly intelligent way of um, setting up, to be honest. You should always work out. In fact, we lost two units as well. So yeah, not a first thing. battle. Uh, killed uh, 250 of our own guys. They lost 4,000. They lost is uh, still huge in comparison with ours, but um, still not brilliant. Yeah, we could have maybe lost um, 600 less, possibly if I'd, I'd fought better or planned better. Bam, gone. Let's repair it. Let's do this, do that, and give him a general. There we go. What's he like? As long as he's young, that's reasonably young. He's a little sergeant. Okay. Yeah. These guys here, where are they gonna go? Where are we gonna where are we gonna put them? Because there's still there's still gonna be a lot of armies around when we finish them um, attacking. You can see here, stacks and stacks of them. So they are going to be able to do a counter offensive on us. They're not going to be. It's not going to be a kind of a blitz where they're completely gone. Uh, we've finished up here. Can't do anything more. That's a little bit iffy. He's got. He's got maybe nearly 30 units against the same kind of number. Yeah. So that, that's not going to be that easy. Uh, the next battle. What's the next battle? This actually looks quite bad, to be honest. He's got a lot of troops here. Uh, what are we going to do? That doesn't look that 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 promising, to be honest. Uh, we're going to do we attack here? I'm worried about this stack. 
That stack comes after us. Oh, this army. I think we'd better to move here. And I think we'll move this army that's not, that's taken no losses at all into that. Yeah, that's what we should do. Not convinced about light infantry at all. About how effective they are, to be honest. They're very good when you're fighting someone in an online battle, but the AI just charges at you anyway. It doesn't really worry about ranged troops so much. Um, okay. We'll go in there. If there's any problem, to be honest. Don't need to repair anything there. Okay, I think this is probably the next one. Yeah, Hyderabad looks pretty pretty iffy to me. I wish I'd put more troops into that. Can't actually get across. Over here, definitely, we're going to have a quite a struggle. He's got loads, maybe about 60 units around here. Yeah, he's got maybe 60 odd units all to attack Goa. So that will probably fall, but in how much damage we can do before it falls. Um, so we've got them. Let's move into here and see if it forces a interception battle. It doesn't, uh, which is interesting. So we're actually in a fortress here. Though it's weird, we've got loads of cav. I don't know quite why we've got so many cav in that army. Okay, well let's do this. Um, again, it's a fortress battle. I don't want to alter result because we'll lose too many men, so we'll fight this. Um, 900 yards, 500 yards. Okay. Two lots of elephants. Two and a half thousand against those. Um, we'll get the cav on first, I think. And light infantry. Okay, this will be interesting, actually. Let's assault them. Yeah, this um, coming back to this campaign uh, with a fresh eye, I can see that the Dutch are going to have quite a, a difficult battle here because there's, uh, there's going to be a lot of stacks left at the end of our offensive here. We haven't really we've hit them hard. But we won't have staged like a knockout blow, which is what I like to do with most countries when I attack them. I like to basically knock them out so that they can really can't fight back very much. Because uh, then you get into attritional battles where really you're not you're not um, fighting. Well, they are strategic battles, but they're really just to try and wear down the enemy. And there's nothing. There's no other way to do it. You just have to accept the losses and um, get on with it. But it's not a clever way of fighting. I prefer to the sneaky way of where you actually position your forces and then checkmate. They're going to get a chance to actually fight back. But let's see what this fortress is like. Hopefully we've got some decent territory that will protect us. He's got a 900 yard cannon. Oh, it's flat as a pancake. In fact, we're quite in quite a difficult position here. Um, right, okay. Where are we going to set up the, these guys? These will be the killers, these units. So that gives us going to be out of range of his mortar. We're not going to. It's not possible to get out of range of his artillery, his uh, 900 yard stuff. Uh, but we're not. We're kind of below the fort, so it's going to be difficult for this unit to actually fire into the fort. We can probably destroy the. I'd say probably. We definitely can destroy it by firing over. Use round shot, we can destroy the walls. Uh, where's the range? Where's the range? Perhaps we can't reach. That's so we can do that. And we'll get some range. There we go. So we can actually hit the walls. We can't hit his centre. That's where his, probably where his 900 yard artillery will be. So we need to think about that carefully. Well, that's not a position where I've put that. I think I'm going to put it up here. We'll see. That's slightly better, actually. I think, yes. We're going to go here. 
slight protection there if he comes out. I don't think he will, but just in case. Let's see, that's going to cover a lot more of the fortress, I think. This is this is the crucial part. I know I fiddle around a lot with this, but... Ew, gosh, we still can't hit him. Because his artillery will definitely be in the centre. Um, we need to move forward about 50 yards. Let's have a look, see what that's like. So do forgive me, but this is quite crucial to the, the whole, whole way that we're going to beat this guy. That's good, we've got them now. Got loads of cav. It's not particularly high quality cav, not the kind of cav that can sit in a in a melee fight for too long. So we need to... Can we hide it? The more stuff that's hidden, the less targets he's going to have. For his 900 yard artillery. Okay, so I think all those are hidden. Can't hide the general, so we just need to put him here. Extreme range. Come on, come on, come on, come on, deploy. There we go. Okay, that should be out of range. Right, infantry. We don't have that fantastic infantry, to be honest. Not in numbers, anyway. Uh, we need to hide it. all hidden, so hopefully you can't hit us. I want you to be able to see the um, and see the artillery, which obviously we can't do anything about. So everything's hidden apart from the general and our artillery. Is that right? It is right. Okay, let's start off with... I want to see how, what the range is like on... Oh dear. That's no good. That's no good. So we need to we need to move forwards. To be honest, gotta watch his artillery. Because he will put it on the fortress walls, of course. Um. See, we can actually go for normal shot to begin with, which gives us a much better range. But the quick lime is the stuff that kills regiments. Okay, well, we're going to go for this. Let's go for this. Let's hit here. Oh, that is artillery. For artillery, eastern mortars. So eastern mortars are completely out of range. They can't hit us at all. These guys can probably hit us. Here we go, here we go. Let's start hitting them and killing them. I'm going to fast forward this because it's, it's just not going to be very interesting. Is he coming away from the walls? He's actually just sitting in the centre, isn't he? Um. How is he hitting my guys when he can't actually see them? It says they're being hit, although we're not losing anyone. Uh, we've lost our artillery, basically, by the looks of it. Which is a bit disappointing. I suppose it's providing a... something for, to aim for. Perhaps it's because the shells are going over the heads of our guys. That might be why. Let's keep this going. We're not really hitting much here at all. We're going to have to move forwards. Let's saddle up. Move forwards, hopefully out of range of his um, his artillery, his mortars. His mortars are set back quite away, so there's a big gap between him, his mortars, a uh, long distance from our mortars and the walls where the guys actually are. So we're going to come up here. Hopefully, you won't be able to hit us. 
still got all our guys hidden, I think. I can't see that this unit is really doing very much, to be honest. Try and hit his artillery. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Run, run, run. Faster, faster, faster. That'll do. Right, let's, let's get on with this. What's he doing now? Is he moving back even further? I think he is. That's, um, are these actually running now? Okay, they're gone. No, they're, out. they're back, are they? Let's pick up the guns. He's now hitting me with his, his other artillery. This 900 pounder, 900 yard jobby. Okay, so in theory, um, this is going to be a difficult battle actually. Hit them, we hit one guy so far. Let's take out the wall. We need to take out this wall. Just keep hitting it. I take these guys left. Let's speed things up a bit more because it is, it is a little bit tedious. We, we know what's going to happen. At the moment his artillery is still trying to hit our, our artillery here, this unit. Let's keep hitting them. Okay, 61. Almost gone. Not quite sure. It's just 300, but it doesn't look like 300 to me. 43. Next thing is to move forward again with the artillery. It's a pain, but it's the only way we can really do it. Keep moving forwards. Okay, we haven't lost any infantry. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, we're not being hit yet. That's a map. Oh dear. Starting to lose our artillery now, which is not good. We've got a breach, which is good. Still can't hit them. We can hit these guys. Uh, let's just take the speed off slightly. Now it's getting a bit more interesting. Running eager. Okay, let's just keep hitting these guys. Gonna individually target these guys. Right, let's go for it. We've now got a breach, which is the main thing. So we've not got to try and climb the walls. We can throw our cav in there. Uh, as soon as it moves from cover, though, of course, it's going to be attacked by the artillery. Come on, keep, 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 keep firing. Come on, keep firing. Get to clear these guys from the wall. And most of the other guys are just sitting on the on here. I am tempted to move a little bit more forwards, to be honest. Not really killing them that fast. 23, that's finished. That unit. 209. 70. 
do five. That's not good. We must move. I think what we're going to do. We're going to move two units of artillery forwards to try and get a hit on on that group that's sitting in the um, in the centre. So hopefully these two guys here. Let's just turn this off because it, it tends to play havoc with the movement of troops. Okay, let's move here. Let's keep these guys firing. These will keep firing on the, the troops that are down here. Let's run, 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 run. Gosh, we've lost a unit. Hundred and thirty-six. Hundred and eighty-five. We're not really doing too well with our artillery in this battle. Mainly because he's got his own artillery that's causing us problems. Um, can we run this? We can't actually run it. What I'm looking to do is to hit this group in the centre, as I've said, but it doesn't look too promising at the moment. Are they going to rally? I don't think they are. But let's go for that. This is quite an interesting siege, actually. Right, so... We lost that one. Okay, let's deploy. These guys get back onto their artillery. I don't know whether they can or not. This is the one I really want to fire on their centre, if we can get it. few hits on their centre with some, some of this stuff will be really remarkable. It will do so much damage. Okay. This guy is still firing. Just throw these guys forwards. See if it can cause them a few problems. Right, okay. Eighty seven six. 170. Come on, let's get some hits of. Because we'll wipe out hundreds if we can hit this. War elephants, war elephants. We have got a long walk towards these guys. Best thing to do here is to throw the cavalry in and then cover the, the advance, the slower advance of the infantry. Um, but we're still in the artillery duel at the moment. Doing bad to be honest. We're, we're kind of clearing these guys out. 169, 82. Come on, just one hit. I just really need one good hit here, and uh, then we'll be in real trouble if we can do that. Right, 
it's really just um, target practice for their guys, to be honest. The reason we've thrown out those guys forward is to see if the artillery will hit us, which it is doing. Um, stop hitting these guys here. Oop, I can hear the mortars going. We're still going to continue with the artillery siege for a bit longer. We are tearing them up, but it's uh, it's a slow business. Might get a lucky hit. Right, but obviously we're having trouble here actually hitting the... Okay, let's see if that does any better job. At the moment I can't actually see that there, I know we're down to like single figures on some of these artillery, but it doesn't seem to be firing very much at all. Okay, so it's coming down towards my artillery, so I need to get these musket men as quickly as possible. I've left that a bit late, to be honest. Possibly too late. He's going to hit me before I can hit him. See if we can hold them up. Don't think we are. I think he's going to hit here. I was very slow at hitting that. Damn. Mind you, it's one unit that we can get rid of. We're going to lose this artillery, which is the one that's really forwards. Damn. Damn him. Right, well I think we we need to move up. I can't see that we're going to get much more purchase on the on the attack and the only thing to do is move slowly up. It's really awkward to actually take these losses. It's like a first world war battle. Um, people often ask why, why the men walk slowly towards machine guns. Well the reason they walk slowly towards machine guns is if they run by the time they actually got to the, the German trenches they'd be exhausted which is not good not good for you. Now this is going to be quite an expensive battle I think. But we need to let our cav take the hits and then our heavy infantry will come in and hopefully climb the wall and deal with them. The artillery really need to group it together now and try and concentrate with what's left of its fire on the enemy. Yeah, we're still taking hits, unfortunately. But now we've got to throw the cab in. No way, no way around this, to be honest. We've got dervishes here, which is not good. So it's going to be a bit attritional. We will lose a lot of cab, I expect. But hopefully we've dragged them in fairly close to where we can get some hits on them now. Yeah, I'm not too bothered if we destroy some of our cav. Okay, we've taken a hit there. Let's keep moving forwards, guys. Get these guys to climb, climb the walls. So we can't get them to run yet. It's just this is foolish to do. Try even try, to be honest. Okay, so we're, we've bottlenecked, we kind of bottlenecked in the in here, so what we're going to do, we're going to pull out. We'll lose some troops pulling out, but um, we can then go in and charge again. We might be able to get some hits on these guys with the, the artillery. like half strength in most of the units. They're still hopefully they're causing problems to their guys in the sense that they're they maybe chase out after us. Yeah the artillery are now doing some business on them, which is good. guys. 
need to move out. Let's move out. Inventory not taking too many hits. I'm not that worried so far. Certainly do not want to just charge in at the the open. Hit the dervishes. He's not good at charging elephants with cavalry. It's never a good thing to do. Or dervishes, in fact. But we re I say we really try to provide cover for our, for our infantry. Right, we can start running them now. They're fairly close to the place where they need to go. <coughs> So we've only killed four elephants, we're taking heavy losses with the cab. Let's try and pin down there. Pin down there, guys. Okay, starting to climb the walls, I think. Oh dear, this is a bit murderous. You might just about avoid it. Can't break through yet. Oof. Luckily, it's fairly inaccurate. It's, um, as soon as we get the the gate, Can we get through. We can take out the artillery, which is the thing that's causing the, the losses at the moment. Are we through? Are we through the gate? It should be ours by now. It still says it's theirs, so let's go down here, take the gate. Swiss infantry, they should deal with the, those guys quite effectively. Wall, actually, why can I not get up the wall? He's running, I think. Yeah, they're routing. Damn, I hate the sound of that blooming. Just charge, 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 charge. We just speed things up slightly. It's taken rather a long time to get to this situation. Let's hit the let's hit the mortars first. Hopefully they won't think about putting canister shot, although they're firing over here actually. That's fine. So a lot of losses, basically. A lot of losses. It's not easy. It's not easy to take out these people. Also they get a morale boost as soon as they're actually in the... Okay, I think we're pretty much done. I think we're okay now. Yeah. Uh, who's this? That's our reinforcements coming on, I think. Okay. We didn't lose a general this time. But, um, not so good, really. Not. A, I actually fought this. I think I fought this better than the previous battle, but it was. Uh, yeah. Difficult one. Difficult battle. Okay, let's have a look and see. See what the damage is. Didn't lose a unit. We lost 600 actually. That's not bad. I don't think that's too bad. We got 200 of our own guys. That's probably from the artillery. Um, yeah, that's not too bad. I'm not, not that unhappy with that. Okay, boom. So we've got the T. Unfortunately, of course. He can now do a counter-attack on us, so we need to maybe look at putting together an army that's all in one without any attrition, and then we need to maybe 
put some other guys into a fort, maybe that fort there. Got these guys here, mainly cavalry, unfortunately. Um, we didn't take too bad of losses. We may have to move some of these guys around. Certainly some of this cav that's, um, that's here, for instance, things like this. I don't mind losing some of these units because there's a lot of cav in this, um, this group. This army group. Okay, that's that's kind of better, I think. And we can certainly uh, move some of the cav in from here, from this fortress. Okay, I don't think we're going to attack here. We're going to wait for all these guys to attack us, I think. I don't think we're going to... Yeah, I think that was the plan. Yeah, indeed. So they're getting closer to their turn. I think the next thing we need to do is try and take out Hadirabad. I think that looks pretty bad, to be honest. Actually, not as bad as I thought. Perhaps it's got its individual units. It's got a fortress, of course. And he's got armies coming on all round us, so we'll have to actually do a decent job of working out where his guys are coming on, to be honest. Um, let's continue the siege for the moment. Yeah, so we need to be quite careful here. We maybe we'll come down and attack this guy. I think that's what we're going to do. And we can always form up on the river. See, as far as we're going to have places like this, very, very highly depleted, and armies like that. So we could, it's, by, no, by no means is this campaign over, not at this stage, it's not the same stage we've reached with the Prussians where really the campaign is over, we're only really playing for the, for the interesting battles. Um, certainly, this is going to be quite a difficult campaign, and he's going to be left with some cities, Akbarabad, Ujan, Udapur, he's certainly going to hold those even if we manage to hold on to things like Goa, which seems to me a bit problematical now, looking at the number he's got here. Yes, indeed. I think that this will probably go. Maybe even here will as well. We definitely need to to boost the um, this army here and try and build it up to, to full strength. Okay, thanks for time watching. I hope you enjoy the episode. Be speaking to you soon. Cheerio for now. Bye-bye.